What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about AMC. You know that from the thumbnail and the title, but we need to talk about it because AMC had a great day today and I'm excited to say that we have seen a decent increase today. The only thing is I would like to partner that up with saying just expect something to probably go south midweek, but we will explain why I believe that to happen. However, you never really can 100% predict things, so take all of this with a grain of salt. None of this is financial advice. It's merely just my opinion, but we all know what could happen and what the hedge funds like to do is like to give us false hope. So I wanted to get you guys prepared, mentally prepared for that, not basically saying that anything that is anything that's going to be FUD or anything like that, that's not the case. So guys, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos just like this one if you guys are really loving the content please please let me know in the comment section below it really does help me out a ton um, if you guys want to join the discord group and join the patreon go over there and join that we have a lot of new stuff coming out new cryptocurrencies uh, that are coming to coinbase and all different other platforms uh, and if we get enough following over there obviously we can continue to make a ton of content over there because then i can make you know unfiltered raw how i feel content without having to worry about youtube Centering anything possible. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into this here. Um, we're going to look at AMC first. Um, well, that's all we're going to look at is AMC. But we can see here that AMC grew by 7% today. You know, it grew by uh, $2.86 uh, before it did close uh, six minutes ago. Uh, you can see the after hours market it is down slightly after being up quite a bit, but we will get into what did happen today. I just wanted to break down um, what I see from a 10,000 foot view and maybe a 100,000 foot view and things like that. I never like to bring technicals into it because uh, AMC seems like a, a, a different type of play. Yes, you can see um, things with a solid technical format or setup and see this um, completely go against that pattern, um, whether you're seeing a double top, a double bottom, whether you're seeing a cup and handle, whether you're seeing a, a nice forming W, ascending W, whatever it is, it doesn't really play out the way that we want it to because the way that we want it to, it goes against what the hedge funds want, right? So this did end up, uh, you know, you could see here, right here, you have this large W formation. This is basically looking at the 10,000 foot view. And I wanted to point out this, this top here. Currently, we're in an upward trend. We're in an upward, upward uh, trajectory here. And this is actually moving closer and closer to this form of resistance up here in the level of 44 or 4450 or so. Um, that's a, a great point to, to look for. And if we can break that point, I think we'll see some uh, definite success above that. Well above that, you can see here that this high happened in the after hours market, which kind of negates exactly, you know, what you did see there. This high over here resisting at 46 was kind of more of a, a top resistance that you wanted to break through. So currently, obviously, we want it to break through this level of 4450 before we can see that really take off and break this level of 46 and then finding a complete breakout all the way up to 50 and you know and beyond right it'll be a really big move once we see this start to run so i wanted to break that down to show you guys um what the ten thousand foot view looks like let's also um go back and just um zoom out a little bit understand what the full view of this is i understand there's a lot of people that are looking at amc and they're like man i'm tired of holding this you know i've been holding since it was eight dollars and they're they're saying oh well you know what i can i can get out and put it into other positions yeah that's always uh fine and dandy to see it that way however do you know where you came from where where it came from eight dollars and now it's up to 42 dollars. it was up to a high of, of 72 dollars that is huge, right? You had thousands of shares that were invested into this or hundreds of shares that were invested into this and you believed in in a community, in, in this whole community, this whole uh, progression of this stock, right? It, it's crazy. This business has brought you to a different level of understanding investing and believing in uh, businesses and believing in community, believing in people, right? Um, this went from that uh, $2 mark. If you were fortunate enough to invest in that, this $2 mark or $4 mark or $5 mark, you obviously have a large gain. And if you sold, I'm, I'm okay with you making your move. I'm not going to say that I'm, I, I have sour grapes that you, you sold 
at the peak. You know, you can do whatever you want with your money. Uh, I just want to let everybody know if you're holding to this point, understand what we do have here. We had this large growth, this large growth all the way up to 72. And now we're seeing it pull back a, a little bit, right? Um, if we're looking at a, a technical format, I mean, this really doesn't, um, it doesn't fall out of line. We do see a nice pullback. We see a little run up that we get back up to those highs. And then we see it start to, um, you know, deflate a little bit. We see it start to fall down a little too aggressive, but it does fall down comes back a little bit back up to that $50 mark uh, falls back down you start to see it uh, really uh, wedge out you start to see it um, you know kind of get closer and closer to being consolidation right we thought it was consolidation up at that peak and we were going to see uh, a bull flag and that wasn't the case we didn't really see that consolidation uh there but now we're starting to see that level of consolidation find its ground find two areas two two uh levels that it's looking to trade in between Right. If we take all of these out, let's go ahead and take these out here and just understand what these levels are. Right. It's starting to it's starting to consolidate in between these levels, creating highs, lows, highs, lows. Right. It's starting to really consolidate. And it's going to get smaller and smaller until it breaks out. Right. It's going to be pretty big. Uh, we all know what it can be. So I wanted to zoom out to show you guys that really, really quick. Let's um, before we go into the day, how the day did go. Let's look at the Ortex data. You can see here that there's a decrease in the short interest change uh down one one point two percent um you see here that the borrowed uh shares is two million the um the return shares around uh three million uh the shares on loan ninety six point zero one million utilization eighty four point nine six um and the overall short interest of free float is around sixteen almost seventeen percent right <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with me but all in all, we still have this setup. The setup's still there. The play is still there. It's not gone. Um, but let's take a look at what did happen in the day. In the day, it was pretty much nothing but positive. You know, it stayed above the 200 EMA the whole entire time. You could see this purple line right here. Stayed above the 200 EMA the whole entire time. You could see the 15 moving average um, showing that, that breakout, that positive breakout where you're above the 200 EMA once it crosses it doesn't look back, right? You did see a little bit of a pullback back to about that 200 EMA mark, uh, surpassed the VWAP and then started to increase there all the way up to 43.23, which looked really, really good. Ended up coming back and consolidating towards the end um, and you see it close at 42.86. So all in all, great day. 40 million shares worth of volume. We saw 7% increase today off of 40 million shares worth of volume. This means that we have a lot of positivity that's going into the position less negativity less less um you know selling the position and more you know just buying up the position and holding on to what you have and them covering some of their shares right that's what we're seeing we're not seeing the total coverage but we're definitely seeing an increase in this position and it looks really really good it feels phenomenal so i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm happy with today I, I hope we see the same for the rest of the week and we don't see a pullback towards the end of the week because that's typically what we have seen. Uh, there have been a couple of Fridays that have been really good, but that's typically what we do see. Um, let, me, let me know what you think about this. Do you see these same setups? Do you see this as a, a total win or do you think we're going to pull back tomorrow? Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell for more videos just like this one. I feel like I said Mel, not Bell. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, check out some of the links in the description. I have my Twitch link that I'm going to be putting in the description. I hope I can remember, but definitely click that link if you guys want to follow me on Twitch because I want to uh, put out as much content to as many people as I possibly can. Especially if I'm already streaming, I want to stream to everybody that I can stream to. So definitely hit that link if you're interested. Uh, also check out my Patreon and all of my other channels across YouTube. I'm going to get a lot more consistent with YouTube. I just need to find some time to remain consistent. But thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.